today's video, I'm going to share with you an idea that may change how you view practicing drawing forever. This is a drawing I did last year. And here is a drawing I made today. What is interesting is that in between these two drawings lies advice that drastically changed how I learned to draw. But before I even get into the advice that I was told, I'm gonna tell you how this all started. So when I first started drawing, there was so much to learn. Gesture, structure, anatomy. Now, I'm not gonna mention all of it. Uh, <laughs> you can read it if you want. And the process of learning all these things was overwhelming because at the end of the day, all I wanted to do was draw characters and eventually learn to draw animations. But I didn't even know where to start. Where do you even begin? How do you even improve? Was it too late for me? Was I just too old? It wasn't until I took a chance and signed up for an online class that I heard a teacher say something about drawing that finally unlocked everything for me. And what he said unlocked a simple truth. Music theory. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure you're like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Are you, I'm sure you're like, what? <laughs> All right, please don't leave. This is a drawing video, I promise. And by the end of this video, it will make sense. All right, so buckle up, kids. We're going to get right into it. All right, because this is going to be fun, I promise you. When I first started to draw, one of the first things this online class taught me was how to draw from life how to use references. However, you may have found this out, but I definitely found this out, that my biggest issue was that there was so much I didn't know when I tried to use references. So let's take a look at this reference to showcase the struggle, the struggle, y'all, <laughs> I had. Now, when I used to look at this reference, I would think to myself, do I begin with an outline? Do I start with shapes? Where is the gesture in all of these clothes? Do I start with the face? These are the things I thought as beginner anime Charlie. And this is where the teacher's advice unlocked drawing for me. And what he said was this, drawing is about building and learning formulas to better our techniques. I'm gonna say that one more time. Drawing is about building and learning formulas to better our techniques. And this is where music theory comes in. Years ago, I learned to play guitar. And if you have learned to play any kind of instrument, you know that all music uses formulaic approaches to creativity. So what does that mean? Let's look at this reference again. So let's imagine we're going to start this reference off by using just shapes. And I want you to think of shapes like the drums of a song. Now, the shapes help give our art structure the same way drums are the backbone of a song. But the thing is, outside of jazz, you can't make an entire song just off of drums. And I can't call shapes a finished art piece. So you have to add something else. And this is where gesture comes in. Gesture is the emotion, the movement, the energy of a drawing. The same way the melody helps guide the listener through the push and pull of a song. Gesture guides the viewer through the motion of a figure. So now that we have shapes and gesture, we still don't have a song yet. Let's go a little deeper. Let's add some anatomy, which helps really clarify the gesture and the shapes into a more complex structure. So we can think of anatomy as the base.
it links the shapes and the gesture the same way a bass links the rhythm with the harmony. So now we need to bring all of this together by rendering it and adding our own personality and style. The same way lyrics help share a message and tell a story. The rendering will express who we are and the message we want our figures to express. The advice that changed my art forever was that all these fundamental skills that I believe were too much, that I assumed I needed to learn separately, they were all connected. So the same way chords and rhythm and melodies and tempo and lyrics contribute to a song, shape, gesture, anatomy, lines, rendering are the fundamentals you need to speak and play in the language of visual arts. I'll see you in the next video.